it starts with an apple tree in our own Garden of Eden. Those apples were picked by my mother-in-law and we get all the waste after she makes the applesauce and the apple pie. The stuff that would otherwise get thrown away comes to us to feed our biogas digester via this incinerator. The apples that have been ground up go into the biogas digester. And the biogas digester runs all the way through this regulator to this electric generator. And that is where we'll start our show today. Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities. Zabilla Culhane behind the camera. We are now about to do our second attempt to run our small electric generator on the biogas that we produce. Because the weather hasn't been so good, it's taken a little while to generate the gas, but we have now found a way to run the generator without using the drill pump that we used the first day we tried this. And the wonderful thing about the internet and about YouTube is that we can share information with people that are far away. So uh, today we got an email from Marcel Lennermond, our friend from England, the engineer, who said, hey, why don't you try brickage? And this shows that great minds think alike, Marcel, because we've been thinking about brickage. The problem with using bricks to increase the weight, and thus the pressure of the biogas system, was that before, when we put the bricks on, this uh, biogas bell tended to fall. And so the other day, we went and bought these plumber pipes and built this structure, this cage structure, to hold the biogas container so we could put bricks on to increase the pressure. We'd been doing that just as your email came in, so it's wonderful to see that we're thinking along the same lines. And we will show you that, in fact, the idea that you propose works very well, what you call brickage. We call this, by the way, bricolage. Bricolage is a French word that means putting things together in a hodgepodge fashion, which is often what the poor have to do, and we're rather poor. So we use bricolage. It's uh, put together not with chewing gum and, uh, and spit, but with wire and duct tape and plumbing parts, but it does the trick. Now, how many bricks do you need to run an electric generator? We tried initially four small bricks. Each one of these bricks is 3.5 kilograms. So 14 kilograms on here ran the machine. We're going to show you what four bricks looks like. that the uh, gas pressure with one, two, three, four bricks is enough to power this when I press the primer. That seems to work. I guess if I didn't use the regulator at all, it might work as well. Then you put two larger bricks on. These are each 4.5 kilograms. So an extra nine. And we found that when you have 23 kilograms, 24 kilograms, about what the airlines will let you put into a suitcase and carry internationally without paying overweight, that's about the pressure you need to run a biogas system. Lights the light. 
shafts that we have and so it shuts down but obviously six bricks has enough pressure without pressing the primer button to keep the engine going and to light the light when we press the primer six bricks is plenty powerful to uh, give full power on the light we're still unsure about how to inject oil into this two-stroke motor we don't want to damage it by running it too long without it it just has the oil from the first two hours when we ran it with gasoline so we're trying this inline air compressor oiler although I don't think that there's enough flow to actually do the uh, the oiling so we still got to figure that thing out next time we might try using this inline oiler instead to see if that helps to get the oil into the engine any suggestions would certainly be welcome. This was only nine dollar, uh, ten euro for this little inline oiler, and this was thirty euro. So, spending a lot of money doing this experiment, but um, we should uh, should be able to make something happen. The problem with the two stroke is when you in inject it with gas, mm -hmm. you get it oily. When you see the plug, mm -hmm. it's already a bit. It's new. It's too. a bit oily. And you have a bit of wooze on it. So there is the zwei Taktor. So that is short to 25 ml. Put half inside. A bit more. That's it. So when we will restart the engine now, mm -hmm. according to the exhaust, to the smoke, you can see if it is too much or less. Spark it small, only to move the piston. What is the gap? The gap is the the the, the space between the top and the copper core. It's gap to, but no closer than 0 0.020. Yeah. Yeah, but that is when there's too much space, you take a small slash with a small hammer. Then it is between, and that's it. But normally, if, when you get a new from the factory, they have exactly the adjustment that you need for those engines. Okay. Does it look like there's enough oil when you look at the spark plug? That was oily. And that's Too okay. oily is not good. Okay. So normally with that oil inside you can operate for half an hour and then you check when the plug is dry there's mm -hmm. not enough oil inside. When it is small greasy and don't turn it too far, too, too strong. Eh? Okay. Only hand force, not, not with a yeah. long handle. So this is the weight that you need to run an electric generator. Fully clothed, I'm 84 kilograms. So subtract the 84 from the 107, and you get about 23, 24 kilograms. Works just fine. A little bit more, and you'll get, obviously, stronger electric generation. 